Hi, boys and girls. For this singing time today, you'll need a scarf, or you can use a Kleenex or a towel or anything that kind of twirls around. Can your hands follow my hands? Lap, clap, lap, clap. You got it? I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow him in faith. Freeze! I think that's too easy for you. Can you try to go shoulder, clap, shoulder, clap, just like that. I believe in the Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll honor his name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light. His truth I will proclaim. Good job. Now that was probably a little bit too easy to grab a partner. All right, so with your partner, you're going to do a cross clap, cross clap. Okay, like this. Cross, clap, cross, clap. You got it? I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Freeze! Is it going good with your partner? I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow Him in faith. Freeze! Okay, I have another part I want to teach you. This next part is a little tricky. If you're in junior primary, you might want to keep doing this cross clap. But if you're in senior primary, give this a try. You're going to do fists. So fist, fist. Then you're going to make an X and an X and a high five. So it's fist, fist, X, X, high five. Oops, like this. Fist, fist, Five. Let's try. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ. I'll honor his name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light. His truth I will proclaim. You got it? Fist, fist, X, X, high five. Even I messed up a little bit. Do you think you could put both patterns together? So four of these, one, two, three, four, and then the tricky part. Fist, fist, X, X, high five. You got it? We'll go slow. I belong to the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Keep going. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow him in faith. A little faster. I believe in the Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll honor his name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light. His truth I will proclaim. Because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was restored, I know today that God lives and I'm able to learn how to be more like Him. I'm able to receive help for my problems and I'm even able to learn primary songs that help me feel close to Him and help me feel the Spirit. Being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is such a blessing. Are you grateful to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Okay, four of these, remember.
All right, how many questions do you hear in this song? Count them, okay? I wonder when he comes again. Will Harold Angel sing? Are you counting? Will earth be white with drifted snow? Or will the world know spring? I wonder if one star will shine far brighter than the rest. Lots of questions, right? Will daylight stay the whole night through? Will songbirds leave their nest? Okay, how many questions did you count? Let's do it together and see if we get the same number. I wonder when he comes again. Will herald angels sing? Will earth be white with drifted snow? Or will the world know spring? I have four so far. I wonder if one star will shine far brighter than the rest. Will daylight stay the whole night through? Will songbirds leave their nest? So I got seven, seven questions about what will it be like when Jesus comes again? Will there be a star? Will it be light just like it was when he came when he was a baby? Will it be winter? Will it be spring? So many questions about the second coming. Now we have another question for this last part of the song. How does Jesus feel about little children? See if you can find the answer. I'm sure he'll call his little ones together around his knee. He wants them close because he said in days gone by, suffer them to come to me. How does Jesus feel about children? He loves them. He wants them near. He wants them close. And that's you. That's you guys. He loves you so much. Will you make some waves with me while we sing this song? So the parts of the song that are a little bit louder and a little bit stronger will have some bigger waves. And then the parts that are maybe a little more gentle can have some smaller waves, just like real waves. They're not all the same, right? Some are big and some are little. Okay, will you do it with me? I wonder when he comes again, will herald angels sing? Will earth be white with drifted snow? Or will the world know spring? I wonder if one star will shine far brighter than the rest. Freeze! Let's go this way. Will daylight stay the whole night through? Will songbirds leave their nest? Here's the part we know. I'm sure he'll call his little ones together around his knee. Because he said in days gone by, suffer them to come to me. All right, grab your scarf. And I want to see if you can figure out what movement to do with your scarf by looking at these pictures. Okay, so I'm going to sing. You figure out what to do with your scarf while I sing, okay? Here we go. I like to look for rainbows whenever there is rain and ponder on the beauty of an earth made clean again. Are you figuring out what to do with your scarf? I want my life to be as clean as earth right after rain. Keep
keep moving it. I want to be the best I can and live with God again. Was it kind of hard to figure out what to do with your scarf? Let's try it together. So first, a rainbow. I like to look for rainbows whenever there is rain. Good. Now a circle. And ponder on the beauty of an earth made clean again. Good. Now let's do some water. I want my life to be as clean as earth right after rain. Kind of just like water flowing in a river. Okay, and now the number eight. I want to be the best I can and live with God again. Is that what you did with your scarf the first time? Now, did any of these movements remind you of baptism? So first we had the rainbow. I like to look for rainbows whenever there is rain. And ponder on the beauty of an earth made clean again. What shape is the earth? It's round, right? So we talked about rainbows that come after the earth is cleaned with rain. Is this song about rainbows? Let's keep going. I want my life to be as clean as earth right after rain. So that's the water. The water, the rain, washes the earth, the trees and the grass and everything on the earth. And baptism washes us. The water in baptism washes us when we get baptized, right? I want to be the best I can. That was the number eight. Why is eight important for baptism? That's when we can get baptized, right? I want to be the best I can. In fact, it kind of makes me want to toss my scarf up a little bit. So I think I'm going to do the number eight and then I'm going to just like toss it. Like I want to do the best I can. I want to be the best I can. Now the ending, it's kind of like we're washing dirt off of a window and live with God again. Can you pretend like you're washing the dirty spots off of a window and then it's all nice and clean, right? I want my life to be as clean as earth right after rain. That's the water. I want to be the best I can and live with God again. All nice and clean. When we get baptized, we're making a promise to do our best to follow Jesus every day and to try to remember him. Let's try it with the piano. We've got rainbows. I think I'm going to do a slower rainbow this time. Thank you for singing with me.